C24 brings you a lifestyle show from women you know with Alex Delgado. Now Central Valley Today. Thanks for tuning into Central Valley Today, everyone. I am Alex Delgado. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Today's show has a little bit for everyone, including those of you wanting jobs as teachers. Details on the free teacher job fair in the South Valley that'll get you in the door. Why? There are so many positions available right now. And for those of you that are in the mood for curly hair, we have a solution. A solution that doesn't involve harsh chemicals. See how Tony Miller gave this young girl some curly Sue's. Wait till you see the transformation. And if you are looking to get fit fast, then CrossFit may be the way to go. A personal trainer, two of them in fact, they're both here with what this type of exercise entails. So we're looking forward to all of that a little later on in the show. But we begin with a partnership that's creating bright futures and future leaders. The Central Valley business community and education professionals are collaborating to inspire students. It's all part of a program that encourages students to become entrepreneurs by holding a project workshop that culminated in a business plan competition. And now some of the young students who won are here with us today. So please help me we welcome Giovanni Perez. He's sitting right in the middle. Patrick Perdue. Both of you are students over at Kermit Coons Education Center. And joining them is their principal, Nick. Nick, nice Nick to meet Hustetti, you. Yes. Nick Say your last name. Hugh Steady. Hugh Steady. Nick Hugh Steady. Thank you all so much for being here. What a great partnership. What a great program this is, the Young Entrepreneurs. And are you just nervous that you're on TV? Is that why you're all smiles there, Giovanni? Yeah. 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 Um, first of all, I'm going to start with you, Nick. Tell me a little bit about how uh, this came together and a little bit about the program. Well, it started actually last year mm -hmm. when uh, members of Leadership Fresno, which is part of the Chamber of Commerce, um, th th that's a group that meets annually and uh, their goal is to take uh, local uh, leaders in the community, um, educate them about uh, uh, the community, what's going on, and, and um, every year a new group goes through this Chamber of Commerce program mm -hmm. um, and one of their outcomes is a, a project and this group they wanted to make an impact on youth and uh, specifically they wanted to educate them about entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and uh, they ended up going to uh, speak with uh, the Fresno County Office of Education and uh, the su superintendent Jim Uvino sent them to uh, our school which serves at-risk youth and uh, we were just uh, so ecstatic to have this program come to our school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Patrick and Giovanni, you both, is it safe to say that you both were considered at-risk students? Yeah. Yes. Why is that? Patrick? Why do you think you were an at-risk student and how has your life changed since this program? Um, it's helped me get back on track and with my schooling and stuff so to make sure that I can graduate mm -hmm. when the time comes. Okay, Giovanni, so when they came to you and told you about this program, being an entrepreneur, what went through your mind? What made you decide to go ahead and give it a try? Um, like, it was a chance that you don't get so often, and uh, I thought of, a, of a getting free time out of class, <laughs> but then uh, it ended up being a great thing, and uh, uh, I learned a couple things and learned what to do and not, what not to do. Wow, wow. And, and then what went through your mind then, Patrick, as well? Um, I had already um, started a business, um, began starting it a couple years ago. Okay. Or, well, last year. Okay. And, um, I would go to, um, my mom uh, works at antique shows. Okay. And one of the uh, dealers there, she deals in silver, asked me if I had wanted to take a job for her at that show and polish her silver. Okay. And it just kind of grew from there. And this is a way for me to um, build up from it and yeah. just get more professional with it. So there's a Gallup poll that says that about 70% of kids between the ages of 14 and 19 actually want to be um, business owners and entrepreneurs. Um, did you even know, Giovanni, that you fell in that category? Uh, yeah. You did? Yeah. You did. Okay. So now you guys are big winners, and we were looking at the video of you, um, all of you, getting your awards over at uh, uh, Fresno City Hall the other day. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I've got to ask, what 
was your winning business plan. Giovanni, you go first. Photography. Photography. Yes. Okay. How does it work? How does it work? Well, I was, uh, I'm planning to have to uh, a store locally for, uh, for uh, Fresno and uh, Saturdays and Sundays. It's going to be events for weddings, quinceañeras, and stuff like that. Okay, and there you are, Patrick, all right, getting your big award. Uh, give us a little bit more detail about what you plan on doing with this uh, uh, business idea of um, yours. I plan on um, saving up money with the business to save up for college and a car so I can get around and everything to the jobs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. while I'm working. And How exciting. All of this uh, gives them so uh, much to look forward to, right, Nick? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, what were these kids going to do beforehand? I'm sure they're trying to get through school, but now they have a plan. They have an idea. Well, not only that, but um, th this program brought entrepreneurs onto campus and allowed uh, uh, our students to to uh, mix and associate with people that they really wouldn't normally have access to. Uh, there was a banker, Ken Kirk, that came and, and worked with the kids. Um, uh, Matt Rosenfeld from KC24 was, was there every single week. And um, they got to not only learn about a business plan, but talk about how do you put this into motion? What is this going to look like? Really, who's going to be your tar target audience? And, you know, as teachers, we um, obviously we want our, our kids to get engaged with the curriculum, but when you can bring in people from the community and, that are actually doing it, it's a lot more exciting, it's a lot more engaging to the kids, and of course, once they're done in our program and they walk, uh, they go back to regular school, um, they go on to college, they're, they're going to have some contacts in the, in the community and um, hopefully 10 years from now, they'll be entrepreneurs coming back and, and working with our students. That's the goal, I'm sure, the it ultimate is. goal. Now, the top three students from each class won $250 and a new suit and tie. Is that what you all are wearing right now? Yep. You look very, very handsome, both of you. So professional. Um, what was the one thing that stuck out in your mind, Patrick, about the whole program? What did you learn? Uh, the one thing, the most important thing, you think, that you got out of it? I'm not quite too sure about that. You, you learned a little bit of everything, didn't yeah, you, about how to continue everything. with your business plan. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you, Giovanni? What I learned mostly? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I learned mostly was uh, the basics of how to get started on a business. Mm -hmm. You know, what you need to, first of all, to start off with your business. Because mm -hmm. you can't just start a business without any money or whatever. Yeah. So are you on your way to becoming yeah. a business owner of a, photograph of a photography studio maybe here yeah. in Fresno? Good Save you money so I can do that. Good for you. How old are you? Uh, 15. 15, and already with a business plan. Very impressive. How about you, Patrick? Um, you don't want to tell us your age? Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm 16. 16. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, we wish you all the best. I know our general manager, Matt Rosenfeld, really has so much passion for this program, yeah. and now uh, we know why. So I appreciate all of you being here. And we're actually going to talk to some more winners of the program coming up right after the break. You guys were wonderful. You look fantastic. Thank you. Very snazzy. I love it. Thank, Thank you. Thank very you. Much. We'll be right back, everyone. Stick around. Dr. Phil, they were witnesses to a killing. Ah! My friend just shot himself in the ass. Did you actually see him shoot himself? Yeah, but I don't remember anything. Was it suicide? None of us had anything to do with your son's death. I don't think that they're telling the truth. Or something else. I'm just upset that I even have to be here. Well, is that inconvenient for you? America's most watched talk show. Dr. Phil, today at 4 on KC24. KC24 brings you a better way to find a local business. YourCentralValley.biz, an extensive directory of local businesses and services that's right at your fingertips. Discounts, online coupons, and useful information. No more sorting through exhaustive web searches to find local products and services you need. KC24 makes it easy. Just log on to YourCentralValley.biz. YourCentralValley.biz, where business clicks. 
Did you know that 73 cents of every dollar you spend here stays here locally? YourCentralValley.com is proud to support local businesses and keep your hard-earned dollars here in the Valley. If you see the Central Valley local logo on a commercial, it means something. It means we're helping keep our Valley economy strong, which provides jobs and services to the community. Look for Central Valley Local while you watch your favorite KC24 programs. For a complete list of businesses to support, go to YourCentralValley.com and click on Central Valley Local. I was denied my Social Security disability claim, even though I can't work. I'm, I'm so, so frustrated, frustrated dealing with the government, and the last thing I want is some faceless lawyer on the phone. I want personal attention. Someone experienced. Who knows our local legal system. And will fight for me. For over 30 years, the law offices of Robert Ishikawa has successfully fought to get Valley residents the Social Security disability benefits they've earned and deserve. Call 432-9600. You're not alone in this fight. Purchase your ticket for the Granville Home of Hope now and give back to eight local nonprofits. KC24 and Granville Homes want to put you in this amazing Copper River Granville Home or take $100,000 in cash. Your contribution benefits eight local organizations helping Valley families when they need it the most. Make a difference in your community and you may win a new Granville Home. Join KC24 and Granville Homes for the live drawing June 11th. Call 440-8388 today or visit gvhomeofhope.com. What makes these stories so personal for me is that I find myself in the field as a doctor, a journalist, a mother. My job is to tell a story in an honest, truthful, authentic way. For them and for us, it's personal. Okay, congratulations to the winners of the 2014 Fresno Chamber of Commerce Young Entrepreneurs Program. It's a program created by Leadership Fresno, Class 29, and it just keeps growing and growing, doubling its number of schools and students. After 10 weeks, three finalists from each school presented their business plans, and six winners were chosen from two of those schools. Joining us are uh, two other winners of this great program. We have Justin, Justin Letson, who's next to me, and then we have Alex Howard. They are from Clovis Community Day School. Welcome, gentlemen. And their principal, Tom Judd, also joins us today. Thank How you. proud of you? How proud are you of your students? It's awesome. Yeah. They did yeah. a great job. They worked mm -hmm. hard. Um, my teacher, who unfortunately couldn't be here, Chris mm -hmm. G., um, he did a wonderful job of working with these kids. And, and uh, Fresno Leadership did a great job with uh, preparing the kids and basically being able to... Uh, do a great job understanding business. What a great success story for these kids because it, it, it's it, it, Clovis Community Day School is an at-risk school. <clears throat> so you guys were not going down the right path, were you, at one point? No. Right? Right? Okay, so then someone comes in, introduces you guys to this program. What do you think? What do you, what do you think, Justin? Uh, it opens new doors, new mm -hmm. experiences, and it gives you something to do on your off time. Okay. Uh, what were you guys doing on your off time? Uh, not studying, right? I guess I not. I guess not. Okay. Uh, we have to point out that, Alex, you got first place. Yeah. Justin, you got second place. Yeah. What was your business plan? My business, I wanted to make fragrance lotions for men. Wow. Where in the world did you come up with that <laughs> idea? Uh, because one day me and my girlfriend were walking through the mall. She wanted to stop at the Bath and Body Works, and I didn't really want to stop there because I knew it was nothing but a bunch of women's fragrances. <laughs> but I stopped anyways, and as she was checking out some lotions, I was just thinking that I could do this, but include a line of lotions for men. You're kidding. That is fantastic. Did you tell your girlfriend, and what did she think? Yeah, she just laughed. Yeah. <laughs> she is she was laughing funny. now? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I'm sure everyone, including your entire family, is so proud yeah. of both of you, Alex and Justin. Justin, what was your uh, business plan? Uh, Citrus Car Audio, which is customization, design, and installation for all your car audio needs. So. Really? Where'd you come up with that? Uh, music's been a big part of my life ever since I was little. So. Okay. The louder it could be and the more bass, the better. Oh, okay. So you want to build uh, audio systems for vehicles. Yes. That's that's the bottom line mm -hmm. with that. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the program. It was 10 weeks long. Um, was, it, was it challenging? Uh, the beginning, it was pretty challenging because, like, there was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And then as you get going and they help you with it, it becomes a lot more easier mm -hmm. and understandable. Mm -hmm. But it's a good opportunity for anyone who's looking at, like, to want to start a business. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you say, Justin, to those people that might say, goodness gracious, you're how old? 
Uh, 17. You're 17. You're way too young to start your own business to even think of that. What do you say to those people, Justin? Uh, is set a goal and work for it. If you set a goal, you can work and achieve anything you want. Well, what do you see in the future for you, Alex? Uh, I actually want to proceed and um, start up this business from the money that I have won from this um, Young Entrepreneurs Program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now I've got to ask that, how, how were these students chosen to participate in this program? Really? Uh, students were able to if they, if they were interested. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, we had, uh, we actually started out with a larger class of students. Mm -hmm. And as the work got a little harder, then it made it more difficult for some of the kids to stay on. But, but we had some really great students that uh, worked hard at it and, and a teacher who took an interest in the kids. And uh, they just, they did a great job. Mm. And, and, and uh, uh, let me ask, what was the most challenging part of it for you, Justin? Because uh, Tom was just saying that some of the students kind of dropped out after a while. What made, what made you keep going? Uh, dedication, because mm -hmm. again, music was a big part of my life, and it was something I really wanted to work forward and start. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it was... A lot of work. A lot of a lot work. Of dedication. So was it worth it in the end? Oh yes, it was you, worth it. Now, Alex, you guys have like a business plan. What, yeah. what did you come away with? Uh, we came away with the knowledge of like how to start up your business, mm -hmm. and I heard they're giving us mentors on actually how to mm -hmm. get the business up and going. Mm -hmm. So, do you see yourself maybe in ten years uh, coming back? And, and, and being role models for other kids, maybe at-risk students yeah. from your same school. Yeah, you're pretty positive, huh, yeah. about that? Yeah. What would you tell the kids right now at your school? Stay out of trouble. Keep your nose clean, and you, anything can work for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How exciting was it to get these awards over at Fresno City Hall? Scary. Why that was, was it scary? That was scary. That was just it a lot was of people. Nerve wracking. Yeah, mm -hmm. nerve wracking. Not Getting so much up and scary. talking in front of everyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, first place winner. What did you get? Uh, twelve hundred and fifty dollars. And what are you going to do with that money? Uh, put it towards my business to get it started. Good for you. And and Tom, is now a good time to start a business? I mean, I know they're a young, right? But at mm -hmm. least they've got the plan going. Um, how many more years of school for them? And in the future, what do you expect out of out of these two students? Oh, I think they. I think kind of like Justin said, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. I think they can uh, achieve, and I think this program was was a great opportunity for them to be able to see what they can do, mm -hmm. and. Uh, once they put their mind to it and uh, I feel that you know if they want to go on to college later on that'd be a great opportunity for them and uh, if not open their own business up and I think they have some great ideas and these were ideas that they came up with in fact Alex I know for a while was kind of toying back and forth in yeah. different ones and yeah. and he came up with I think colotions for cologne and lotion that was the name of his business yeah. and it was awesome so uh, it was I think they can be creative and they can do anything. They really can. What a great program. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Um, do you have samples of your collotion? Yeah, I you do. do. Um, when I, um, at the presentation, I actually gave samples out to people. You did. What does it smell like? Give us a little, a little idea of what it smells uh, like. It's like a manly smell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a manly lotion yeah. smell. We definitely need that, yeah. right? All right. Well, listen, both of you, congratulations. I'm very proud of all of the students that were here today and all of the winners. And are you going to participate in this program again next year, Tom? I would love to participate okay. in it. I know Nick Husteti was the one who got me interested in it in the mm -hmm. first place. And and uh, we would love to be in it. And I know uh, Nick's moving over to Central High School and uh, well, Central uh, Community Day School in mm -hmm. Pershing, and he's going to want to get his students involved over there. So definitely. All right. And we're oh. coming after you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> we got to rub elbows with that uh, Matt Rosenfeld. He'll get us going. In this oh, he did a great year, job. Right? I, I really want to yeah. thank everybody uh -huh. for a wonderful job. Thank you very much. And, and I know I speak for Nick that uh, everybody was wonderful and it great, gave these students a great opportunity to. Uh, just see what they can do. Yeah, Leadership Fresno and the Chamber of Commerce doing wonderful things for our community. Thank you both, all of you, for being here, and congratulations. Great Thank job. You. Well done, Thank well you. done. Don't go anywhere, everyone. You might miss our Cutie of the Week. What little dog is ready to be part of your family? We'll be right back. My choice is Ford F-150. 24-7.